All right, so Christmas came early, and they're just in, I'm talking about the Christmas spirit and the Christmas season. We have a very talented artist um, who is, yes, we're going to be talking to him about his music. music and for what we've seen. He's been able to collaborate, or he collaborated with amazing international world acclaim, uh, and he's in Mali as at now. So I mean, it's always nice to have different types of people like this on the show mm -hmm. who are bridging the gap of music, especially when it comes to the Christmas season. And um, his name is... BJ Sam. <laughs> Hello, BJ Sam. Hi, BJ Sam. How are you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. And you? How, how are you doing? How is Mali looking? Looking like, is it morning or afternoon or evening in Mali? Okay. I don't know the time difference. So it's actually, it's actually, we have almost the same time, just one hour. Oh, okay. You guys are one hour ahead right now. Yeah, okay. all right. Nice, nice. Amazing. I mean, you have a really compelling profile here. Your one part I really love is the strongly innovative, exploring new genres of music. You've written two books, Before the Sunrise and Wonderful Gift of Music. But I mean, the catching part is the collaboration, of course, called The First Universal Christmas Song featuring global icons, music icons, right? That's well, quite, quite amazing. But let's talk about that collaboration. You have um, Paul Rassi of Sound of Metal, an amazing other title. How was it like? putting this because you're in Nigeria and you're in Mali so how was it like yes, getting yes, this yes. amazing getting in touch with all these people to get a collaboration okay right. okay um I'm in Mali though I travel around the East, but I'm based in Mali so now because I have a, a com I work with a French company the French uh, education system so what we have opportunities to travel around there it's very Good. It was an idea that uh, I believe is divine idea, and I've been working towards it. Uh, since the divine idea, I just have to call. I've been doing booking for artists for many years, for the likes of Whiskey Davido, every other person you might know. I've been doing international booking for them. So during the time of the pandemic, uh, we just need to we not be locked down musically because uh, we saw that different part of the world there was locked down artists couldn't go for tours around the world we needed to do something different we needed to do something very different so uh, i decided to consult uh, well, cont uh, consult other people across the world who are doing music we did the first project global project my project is that i have to get make sure that artists from different part of the world from all continents especially that is deficient the idea is that all continents of the world need to sing together in harmony. So what I do is that I search for profiles of artists in Africa, which has made a lot of impact that has affected their world, their fans, they have made positive impact in their, through their art. So in this particular song in Africa, there's this lady called Diana Opson. She, she, she was the former president of her a Ghanaian music association. Uh, she's one of the most popular uh, icons, music legend in Ghana, at, um, Diana Opson. I choose her to represent Africa in, an, in all from Hollywood, America. You can see Paul Rassi. He's a very famous actor in Hollywood. He was nominated for Oscar this year. And um, he's also currently working on a movie with uh, Jennifer Lopez. Uh, he's also working on another movie with um, Nicolas Cage. You see, that is a famous person that has impacted the world. And um, in, uh, when it comes to in, in India, we have this famous Punjabi singer, Hollywood uh, actress singer, um, that's Jaspinda Narula. She's very famous. When it comes to music in India, she's very, very famous. And um, people know her for a lot of things she's been doing. She has gone around the world tour. She has been on tour across the globe. And um, we also have Christina Sombro from Switzerland. She's a, one of the biggest celebrities in Switzerland, um, Austria, and German, Germany. She has done a lot of things. Uh, she sings and she's also an actress. So we try to bring all those people if you see, there's another lady called a pianist. It's called uh, Shasuru Suri. She's very famous in the world of piano. She's one of the icons when it comes to the piano playing today in the world. One of the grand pianists in the world. She has played for a lot of people. She also works with the New York Times. 
So all the people came together. I had to write to the, all of them, and all of them came together so that we can do something special for the Christmas. Nice. Vijay Sam, um, um, let me just throw this in real quick. I mean, from everything you're saying, it sounded like you reached out to all these people through social media. Yeah, I reach out to them through social media because I've been doing booking, so is, we have the idea. God has given us the idea already. You just exploit it, which is just the right time for me to exploit them. Some of them we have to talk on phone. We have to do some rehearsals. So we reach out to them through social media. The platform is there because I've been doing. I've been actually into uh, media consultation. I've been okay. doing press release for a lot of companies, writing, promoting music internationally. So. Uh, over the years, we've been working on this platform. So it was quite easier for me to, through the wisdom of God, it was quite easier to just achieve this. Okay, let me just go to show how easy the... Tell, tell us about the part of Wana Music buying into this project, because Wana Music is a global music platform. company. Platform, yeah, yeah, company, of course. Um, and for them to be able to buy into this, then that's like solid. So how were you able to facilitate that? Uh, yeah, so we've been working on the... Uh, when they saw the project, they were amazed. Uh, but Wifa wrote to me, wow, if you are intending to reach one of bros, you have reached the right place, and we are glad we will want to buy this project. Okay, fine. Now the question, okay, okay, now I have so many, okay, now we have many questions to ask you because you have so many people on the project. And God so faithful is because uh, we have this, we've been in the industry for a long time, though behind the stage, doing stage management and cooking, you know, We've gathered a lot of information about music, publishing rights and stuff like that. So what I did was that I tried to create uh, music myself. I tried to create all the lyrics myself because if you want to share right for over 22 actors on a project, it was good. if everyone should write, it's going to be difficult to share the right, to share the royalties. So what I did with that I was I wrote the song myself. I composed the song myself. I did everything myself and I shared, I did, I did a live recording and I sent it to the instrumentalist to repeat the same thing, almost the same thing. In the same way, I recorded the full crawl. I sent it to all the artists to sing, not actually, not really the way I sang, but something different. So I own 100% of the music. So it's quite easier for me to sell the music. So when that's what they wanted to know, who owns this, who owns this? Because if you have so many artists that owns the music, it's very difficult for any buyer to buy it. So that was the one, number one thing I worked out. So now what we're doing is that uh, each artist will be receiving some percentage as a part of their contribution to the project. So we're just finalizing where um, it's a long, it's, it's a bit long process. So we're going to be finalizing everything we want to music. Uh, okay. As time so, unfolds. So, so what is the goal for this project? Is it to solidify your, your role as an international composer, arranger, or to just put you on the map of music in the world? What is the goal for this project? It's a really big project. Or just to give back to uh, society. Okay. People want to really know what the goal of, because this is a huge project, you know. It is a, yeah. Thank you very much. It's a huge project because uh, for me, I think it's an idea, it's a divine idea, it's a divine idea, it's a divine mind. So I believe we have done like three projects like this, and each time we do it, it's we, we invite access. I invite access from different parts of the world. I don't want to repeat the same access. So I want to make sure that I picture that access from all of, all the about 200 countries. Look, like right now, I've worked with over about 60, if not more than 60 access already on my three projects I've started. I started in 2018, and I did for some, you are worthy, Jesus. I did some second one, I'll be loving you to the end. I picture all these people have music icons from their own particular world. So for me, I just want the world to be united. Hmm. Music is a platform whereby we can unite the world. If you see, there's so much war, there's so much political wars, there's so much indifference between nations of the world. So, but this is an opportunity for the nation to stick together, to embrace each other. Hmm. If you watch the previous projects, I'll be loving you to end. You will see Russia sing it with US. You see a lot of people singing together, China singing in the same song. And mm -hmm. if you watch on the media, you see that China is having a conflict with the uh, US or probably it was Russia, conflict between all those nations. But in music, you see them, they are united. Mm -hmm. So in politically, politically, we might be divided. Mm -hmm. But music 
is a medium that can unite the world. So that's what that's what the vision is. The vision, the idea, and the vision and the energy about this is to unite the world through music. Okay. So I mean, yeah. with your music, uh, what are the future plans? Because you are not in Nigeria, and you are Nigeria is like the hub of music. Well, in terms of African music, exactly. how would you describe your mm -hmm. sound of music or your style of music? Is it okay. international? What is your style of music? Because apparently you are a composer, you're a producer, you're a singer, you're a songwriter, you're a writer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. so my, 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 if, if you read a bit about my profile, I have always refused to, to, to stick to a particular journal of music. Because music is a universal. It's universal. So it depends on how, you, how would you do music now that the whole world would dance to. Because if you do a particular genre of music, even if you do a particular American genre of music, it doesn't mean in India we accept it. If you do India genre of music, it doesn't mean a Nigerian we accept it. Okay. So now, how do we make uh, music, a particular instrumental, a particular music that everybody will be able to sing to, everybody will be able to dance to? That's what I'm trying to do. So I'm not actually trying to, I try to do a fusion. Okay, how do I make a particular beat? How do I make a particular music that American will relate to? Because you see, most of these artists, some of them are rock musicians, like Horasi mm -hmm. is a Hollywood actor, famous yeah. Hollywood actor. He's also a rock musician. The guitarist is a rock um, a, a musician. Other people have um, the Ghanaian, African artists, the Indian, you know, Hindi. So, you know, we have different genres of musicians coming together. So I need to sit down through the wisdom of God to create a particular genre, mm -hmm. a particular sound that everybody will be able to sing on it. The other artist, the um, Australian actor, is also actor, he's a singer too, he's very famous, he's a jazz musician. Then how do we bring all these people on the same instrumental, on the same music? So that's just the idea. Okay. It takes a lot of work. This particular project took us like over six months to accomplish this. Mm, okay. So when is it coming out? When is this video coming out, this collaboration? Is it out already? How can people watch it's it, out. access yeah, it? Yeah, like two days ago. Yeah, two days ago the video is out. So we're doing final completion with the MTV and um, MTV uh, BET. Those are the two networks that we powering it, that we're probably with, that we're powering it. We are going through a uh, few series to check the video captioning and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, so we, the video will be in every part of the world. As you can see, the news is everywhere spreading on the world news everywhere around the world. The news, news is spreading. That is the idea. A lot of ambassadors around the world they are aware of the project because we are trying to a lot of political leaders they are aware of the project because we're trying to unite the world we're trying to unity in the world we cannot do without love you know, we saw that maybe see most of these artists they are not christians they are some of them are Hindi. some of them don't even believe god exists but we believe this music so I believe there's a way we can unite the world. In a, despite our differences, our difference in belief and stuff like that, we can actually, music can actually unite the world. Sure. The similar thing you see is FIFA World Cup. A lot of people come from different backgrounds, from different religions, from this friend, believe and greed, but we, they come together, they play together. That's the idea about the project I'm doing. And this is not just the end. We are going to be doing this, a project that will continue to unite the world. Okay. All right. Well, uh, VJ Sam, thank you for mm -hmm. talking to us. I think I even I wanted to ask you yes. about what you want people to understand when you actually when they see the music. Mm. But I think he has encapsulated Explained. all that. He has talked about all of that. So mm. it's but amazing. With, with the MTV part, it's going to be on MTV, right? You mentioned MTV. It's going to be on MTV. Okay. All the MTV network. Mm -hmm. okay. They have received. We have. Uh, we have because uh, in the music industry, there's so many fighter things. Since it's a global project, we work with only the top media companies in the world. So we, uh, if you Google, uh, MTV doesn't take music, MTV network, Fiacom doesn't take music like that. And, uh, they have companies that handle, that handle this um, sorting music for them. Okay. That's one of the biggest companies in the world. Mm -hmm. so, we, so we talk to this company. So what the process is that they will, they, they, they will take the music, they will do some work on the music and send it to the programmers. If there's any correction, they get back to the artist and say, okay, uh, can you do this? Or the company can do this. And that's the process we are going through. Nice. After this process now, you will see in you know, almost of the 
uh, MTB networks, if you have constants in different parts of the world, nice, they will distribute it to, the, to their platform. The same thing with BTE. Oh. So that's how the music actually works. So oh, you right. have a company that I do this particular, that we have a company, the biggest the press release company in the world, Sition. Only the press release, you can see it on most of the media platform across the world. When last, it, it, it. when last did you come to Nigeria? And when next are you coming to Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> I intend uh, since I intend to be in December this December. I intend to be in uh, Nigeria this December uh, to see how things will go. Uh, Nigerians have been very very supportive, and um, I I count I am so privileged to come from Nigeria. And Nigeria is really taking up the music industry right now. The whole world is actually paying attention to Nigerian music right now. So um, we're just trying to see how we can actually because there's so much talent in Nigeria. Sure. We just want to exploit it. I actually wish a time will come whereby the Nigerians, mm. uh, the world will realize that the Nigerians themselves will realize there's no different, the, no other nation is more talented than the Nigerians in every angle of it. It's just that we just need to come to uh, the point of realizing our potentials. And you keep, no, now nobody can look there and say, you are from Nigeria. We, we are on the, when it comes to music and professionalism, I am a Nigerian. Nice. But you can just look, okay. Uh, we are, you can say you are more talented or more. We do music, yours. So I want Nigerians to come to that platform because when it comes to music, I don't think anyone else is more talented than us. Maybe you might be talented. I don't think we are, Nigerians are good. Nigerians are good. Nigerians are good. Nigerians have positive image. We just need to promote that positive image. We don't, have, we don't need to allow any other thing to tarnish our image. We have, when it comes to everything, Nigerians are there. I was going to ask you. How come um, you put up um, any Nigerian? No, I was going to no, I was not gonna ask him. Um, do you speak Pidgin or your language? I, uh, if you watch some of my interviews on uh, um, French TV, uh, one of the biggest TV stations in the world, TV center, when I was speaking Yoruba, they oh, always nice. speak to your people in yeah. Yoruba. So I spoke in Yoruba. I'm like, wow. Is that okay? Because I speak French. I speak, but uh, the interview was in French, so I spoke okay. before starting. I, I spoke in, I greeted my people in Yoruba land. Yeah. And they were like, wow. So, so how many languages do you speak now? Mm? How many <laughs> languages do you speak, apart from Yoruba? Yeah, how many languages? I speak, uh, I speak French. I speak English. Mm -hmm. That's all. So I try a little <laughs> bit to speak, but I can speak in different, in my music, I try to express myself in different other languages. Okay. So I learn and... Okay. Express but, myself in this language. But BJ Sam, I, I was gonna ask. Apart from yourself, um, we didn't see mm -hmm. any other Nigerian yeah, artists in there. Oh, with reaching okay. out to everyone, how come there's no Nigerian artists in there? I mean, apart oh, from okay. you. Okay, oh, okay. Actually, the idea is just to pick like one artist from Africa. Apart from me, I'm the owner of the project by the grace of God. But I actually, spoke with uh, these people. Like, when they called manager and um, but the issue as i said the only issue we had was that when the code manager said when the code has to write his verse mm, okay. oh, that'd be so dope and, um, when is booked all christmas so. uh, <laughs> if you if you write if you write his own, his own verse it's very difficult to share the realities you know when someone writes a song okay when you have multiple people write the song is a is a problem so i i, I spoke to most of them and um, definitely, I'm going to use because, as I said, every uh, from January, February, February, March, I have to work on another project. Thank so you definitely, so much. I'm not going to use a Ghanaian. I'm not going to use a Ghanaian. Mm. I'm not going to use any of the country I've used. I'm going to use a Nigerian. Thank you so, so much, Vijay Sam. It's so use... more amazing. Like, as in, thank, thank you, you, thank you so us. much. You've, you've shared so much. It'll be nice to have you again on the show. I can't wait to watch the project mm -hmm. when it's out. Thank you so much for coming on the show and wishing you all the best. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All Everyone right. can check the song on Google okay. and find more details. All bye right. Bye. Thank bye. you very much. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. That was so nice. Bye. That was so lovely. Yeah, it's it's good to see how um how much of our Nigerianness <laughs> that were being exported out there. International, to the world, international going collaborations. international places, mm -hmm. making international collaborations. And I think it just goes to show how much we've um, embraced um, working virtually. Mm -hmm. I mean, thinking that he had to reach out to all these people virtually. virtually. Yeah. This, a lot of people didn't think about this before the pandemic, but this pandemic just made our minds go easier. wide mm -hmm. and think about it.